Hello everyone and welcome to my latest Nashville shopping vlog. We are starting out in Celine because I really wanted to look at the small and then the classic Celine bags. In my last vlog, I tried on the small and I was concerned with where it hit in person, although it looks good on the video. Once again, I did confirm to myself that it just feels like it's sitting too high on me when I'm wearing it. The medium, on the other hand, I was really impressed with as I did not try this on last time. And I do really like this bag. My only concern is, is it too big of a bag for me for every day as I don't normally carry enough stuff to fill the bag. I did also try on this Alaya bag, which is in the Nordstrom private sale going on right now. And while I like the bag and I think it's very cute and well-made, it, there's really no security other than just this zip pouch that comes with the bag that doesn't hold a whole lot. And because of that lack of security and the fact the bag's unlined, I was unimpressed. But I did also retry on the Loewe Flamenco pouch. And I do really, really like this pouch. I think this is the first time that I've shown this in a vlog. This is not the color that I want. I'm wanting in a soft white, as mentioned in my handbag wishlist video. But I do think it's really cute. Let me know though what you think of the little side pieces that are on that bag. Now, this particular pair of shoes has become very popular lately and we've seen being worn on several different celebrities. However, I don't know how they're wearing it because this shoe is so, so uncomfortable. To me, Louboutins are very comfortable um, and I would way rather have a pair of Louboutins. Now, this pair of Prada sandals was actually super comfortable and really cute and I really, really liked these and was considering getting them until the essay let me know that the inside is actually stuffed with plastic with just a very thin leather cover the outside and for the price of these shoes I do not want to be having plastic stuffed inside of my shoes that made these a no-go but the Valentinos that I tried on are extremely comfortable this is now the second time I've tried these on and I do really really like these shoes I just have to decide if I'm okay with the gold studs on the normal black leather version as I do typically wear a lot of silver jewelry with my black clothing pieces but just for fun, I tried on these super bright fluorescent pink shoes in the same style and they were way too bright, but they do make a solid black with black stud version in this patent leather style of the shoe. And so that's definitely an option to consider as well. Now, since they were out of my size in either the all black or the black and gold, I tried on these Gianni Beanie dupes in Dillard's. And these were extremely uncomfortable. I do not recommend them at all, even just standing for a few seconds. They were very, very uncomfortable on my foot. Even though they look so similar to the Valentino, they do not measure up in comfort or quality. I will have a video next week talking about the amount of fakes that I saw walking around in the mall, but I did also go into Golden Goose. I had never tried on Golden Goose shoes before, and I'll tell you what, I did not find them to be anywhere near worth the price. I found them to be very, very uncomfortable, although they did get more comfortable the higher up in arch support I went. I did not feel that even their most supportive shoe had enough support for me. I also found that the leather on these shoes was super thin and flimsy feeling and while I do understand that the whole point of the golden goose is that like you are wearing this already looking distressed shoe I think that the quality of leather that comes with it compared to a lot of other luxury leather sneakers is really not worth it at all this particular pair that I'm trying on right now was the most comfortable but again I'm really not convinced that they are actually worth the price of the sneaker for the quality that you're getting now, then I went into Louis Vuitton because I wanted to see the new Monoglam collection as well as the By the Pool. Now, I've always loved the blue that they came out with this year for the By the Pool, as well as the Raffia with the black trim. However, none of the pieces I loved enough to necessarily bring home, although the blue is gorgeous. They also had new men's pieces in. Of the Monoglam, I definitely prefer the gold over the blue. Now, one thing to note about this is that this has sort of a 
plasticky coated feel to the material so it doesn't feel like denim and it is actually made to be waterproof or at least water resistant however with the gold it's untreated vachetta leather which means that that leather would be ruined the second it was hit with rain I also went to Breitling. This is the 32 size in their watch, as well as now this is the 36 size in the same watch, as well as the 34 size. Personally for me, the bigger two were just a bit too heavy on my wrist. Now this is the YSL Teddy jacket. If you are wanting one, get it now. YSL has discontinued this jacket, so find it if you want it. I also went to Luxury Label, which is my favorite consignment store, and tried on these Valentino shoes, as well as this stunning Gucci dress, which my husband felt just looked a little bit too big on me, although I really loved it. To wrap up my shopping, I went to TJ Maxx and tried on several fun pieces in there. This particular dress I loved, but was a bit too big. I also found a lot of Lily Pulitzer pieces. This particular one, I think you can tell by my face, I'm not impressed by. I was not thrilled with the fit, but there is this really cute Eliza J dress that I tried on, as well as a really cute Tommy Hilfiger dress with polka dots. All were really great prices, and I do enjoy going to TJ Maxx to find some cute things for the season. And, but that is all for this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it and will be subscribed for the the unboxing coming up on Friday. With that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye.